Hey gang, my name is Jeff Spicer. I'm a production manager on For Honor, and I'm here today with our level design director, Jeff Eleanor. Hi guys. Today we're very proud to be giving you a sneak peek of a new IP from Ubisoft Montreal, For Honor. This game puts you on the battlefield with three great warrior legacies, knights, vikings, and samurai. You ready? Let's fight! playing Dominion mode, so this is 4v4, two teams, both trying to dominate the battlefield by a way of three strategic control zones. So here we are following my character, a knight, with my knight brothers and sisters. Our immediate priority was to gain control of capture zone A. We plan on doing that by pushing the attacking front back and out of the zone. Speaking of pushing people out of the zone, check this out. Boom. Just because you have zone C, though, doesn't mean you're controlling the battlefield. Right here is a good showcase for the innovative control scheme that we call the Art of Battle. The system gives you a really huge degree of control over your weapon via the right stick. You can see here that you're choosing which side to attack or block. The key component to the Art of Battle is giving you, the fighter, control over both your attack and defense by tying it directly to the right stick. Now that I've completely annihilated the attackers of Zone C, let's take an overall look at the battle. All right, so looking out over the map, you can see that my team, the attacking team, has just captured the central zone at Zone A, and also my teammates are pushing a little further and capturing Zone B. That is correct. At that point in the battle, the attackers were controlling two-thirds of the battlefield, so around that time, I decided that my services could probably be used elsewhere. Thankfully, Lady Anne was ready, so we pair up and see if we can do some damage. Isn't this the one? Oh no. Yeah, I remember this fight. It was a pretty good fight, but I think I actually lose this. Yeah, I do lose this one. Yeah, you do lose here. I'm pretty sure you don't just lose the fight, though. Uh, you lose your head, eh, bud? Yeah. All right, after that embarrassing little incident, here we are over in the attacking team side of the map. I'm playing as the Samurai Assassin. We went forward in time a little bit. You can see the score has changed. Both teams are over a thousand, which means that both teams are breaking the enemy team, preventing them from respawning. That's why you see little icons and player names at the side of the screen. So I see somebody all alone over there and I'm gonna go eliminate them. My Samurai Assassin doesn't have the greatest defense, but I have really good offensive capabilities and fast lethal strikes. I do love these high spots in the map. This is useful for me trying to find my next target. And like Jeff said, in breaking, the team fully eliminated loses the battle. This increases the importance of the surviving heroes on the battlefield. Using this and my usual strategy, I decide to go pair up with Lady Anne. Now this narrow bridge was a good setup for me to try and use my arrow storm, my samurai feet, to kind of take out at least one of you, but at least it made you separate. And gave Lady Anne the opportunity to completely fail the Brotherhood. <laughs> I like how this next part goes. You may win this battle, but you're far from winning the war. And that's a match. For more info or to be amongst the first to play, visit forhonorgame.com.